Hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload and also hit that thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the content. And as always, let me know what y'all think in the comments. So let's jump right in. Hope everybody is having a great day. Um, welcome back to another episode of The Tea with Key. So let's jump right in. We don't want to waste your time. So Erica Mena is back in the news again, making a complete ASS out of herself as she does very well without anyone's help. So if you guys have not checked out Bethany Frankel's two-part interview with NeNe Leakes. Go and check that out. As a matter of fact, I need you to run and check it out. Very interesting. Very interesting interview. So not only did Erica Mena try to make herself appear to be more of a black looking person as you guys can see her and nini um have a striking resemblance that is because she chose to wear darker makeup because of course after sending that monkey comment out in the atmosphere she wanted to actually look more black um then she is or whatever she considers herself because most black people are not around calling other black people monkeys so we know that erica bennett does not actually identify as a black person and how do we know that well maybe it's her um background and all the times she has referred to a black person as a monkey so let's jump right in guys like i said i don't want to waste your time so what is bringing erica mena back in the news again is because she refused again to take responsibility for her actions but yet she wants to continually blame other people this girl cannot say sorry and leave well enough alone every opportunity she has she's going to recant her statement and make it not her problem because in fact she didn't do anything wrong so let's jump into this stupid statement now that erica mena has released this is what she had to say to be successful in reality tv you must kill or be killed to not get dirty is to get fired someone is winning and someone is losing in this zero sum game where people like myself get rich and the less strategic go broke or get canceled okay you guys all right I was good at the game. So what does that say about me? I was broke and desperate and wanted it so badly. My one-liners and quick wit crafted and honed from a dysfunctional childhood, often at others' expense. Shoot me through the ranks of this toxic cesspool. The medium preys on the uh, the media the medium preys on and profits from the emotionally flawed and damaged. First of all, she has no one liner, so I don't. But I'm going to continue to read because I'm going to tell you guys where she stole and plagiarized this from. Just let me finish. People say we signed up for this. I did not know what I signed up for, but would do it again to not be broke and afraid does that justify an environment designed to exploit women should it create a society at large glorifying women trashing each other for profit i want it to be something and help create this genre paving the road for those behind me erica you have not paved the road for anybody Am I biting the hand that feed me? <laughs> this girl is such a plagiarizer. Perhaps, but maybe that hand deserves to be bitten. We have fed the machine ratings and dollars, catchphrases and content. We get filthy and they get rich. So she stole this from Bethany Frankel's interview with Nene Leakes. And I'm going to play you guys the recording at the end so you can see for yourself. But before I do this, this girl does not take responsibility for anything, nothing at all. And I told you guys from the beginning that she did not mean her apology. But of course, you guys don't believe it until she pretty much comes out and recant her statement. This is not a woman that is taking responsibility for her actions, you know, 
first she blamed spice then she blamed mona then she blamed yandy now she's back to blaming the network again she is not taking responsibility for her actions what i love about the fans they love and they can catch the bs so this is what some of the people are saying i am wrong but i have done this time and time again and you all profited from it the one time i was held accountable y'all od'd i will do it again though that is basically what she's saying erica is saying here's another commenter wonderful translation there are a lot of women that survived many years of reality tv that didn't behave the way she did candy has been on atl housewives for 1 billion years she generated millions i totally agree and she's never performed that way and act as this crazy lady she just keeps missing opportunities to apologize and listen to what everyone is trying to tell her we are all over it but she keeps giving people a reason to reason to drag her i agree melmatic i totally agree this has got to stop she's not even a reality tv heavy hitter though no rememberable one-liners just a stank attitude and a couple of fights that's her standard she's no needy leaks jocelyn or new york thank you very much big b she has no one-liners at all she's not anybody that's rememberable so i'm not sure why she's citing bethany frankel's podcast people so dumb she could have simply apologized whether met or not and move on i agree move on she keeps doubling down on it and bring it back up it's keeping it fresh on people's mind let it go ma'am besides spice said your son don't like you i'm still trying to figure out how that's coming for your kid that's actually coming for you hello that is what i've been saying the whole time um instead of take ownership for the fifth filth that came out her mouth apologize to black women learn from your mistakes she wants to write a lengthy disser dissertation yikes and she didn't even write it she stole it from bethany frankel um girl you fired next the f girl just apologize and move on you obviously are about the situation to speak on it but won't apologize for how you got in the situation hello damn they must pay more than to be <laughs> right but erica it's not like you carried the show or carried the season sis right you're not a nini a phaedra or portia you brought a lot of stank attitudes and fights we were not running to the tv to see you let it go the f girl we tied I totally agree. I agree. Let it go. Stop talking about it. This woman is led by ego and right. Now she's trying to salvage the remains of what's been destroyed. Mind you, by her own doing, stop pointing the finger. Learn from this. Tyra Banks voice, right? Remember, everybody is replaceable. Next, damn. I agree child by you are fine with the machine until it fired you hello the machine worked perfectly until she was um made to take accountability for her actions and she still has not taken accountability only thing she has mastered the art of pointing fingers at everyone but herself now a few more comments guys and then we're gonna move on when your mouth writes you a check your book can't cash and still she's going she must really love loving hip-hop but erica the ink is dry on the pink slip their mind has been made up it's time to let it go hello i agree girl nobody made you call that lady a monkey hush already the unemployed still talking loud <laughs> right 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 i totally agree so i totally agree with a lot of what everyone else is saying um the fact that this girl will not move on and then the final comment mad mimi girl you fixed your lips to yell those words and then refuse to hear out the black women you work with hello 
that try to speak to you about it, say it with me, accountability. Reality TV needs to be done. I miss the Flavor Flav days. I wonder, what does she say? I wonder how Beyonce's, I don't know what else she's saying. It's cut off. So guys, that is, I just wanted to read the comments. So let's jump on. I want you guys to actually hear the recording of where she got her statement that she released on her social media. So I'm going to actually pull that up and I'm going to bring her statement up again so you guys can see it on the screen while I play the audio. Be back in a moment. To the mattresses with her on the show. Uh, no, I can't say that I do. Because no. do you feel that, I always say that the show, it's a zero-sum game. Someone mm -hmm. always has to be winning and someone always has to be losing. Yeah. So you are either getting killed or killing somebody. There's really very <laughs> little middle. That's very good. It's the mafia. Yeah. You're killing or yeah. being killed. If you're yeah. not, if you don't know yeah. who's getting whacked, yeah. you're getting whacked. Yes. So it's, yeah. so, you know, I had a makeup person here today doing my mm -hmm. makeup and he's good friends with Tinsley. And I was saying, mm -hmm. I, okay, guys, we're going to break this down and I'm going to play you snippets of it. And we're going to break down her statement to be successful in reality. You must kill or be killed to not. Okay. So let's stop it. So you just heard Bethany Franco said, you're going to either kill or be killed. I'm breaking this down to let you guys see that this girl is just a hot, stinking mess. She can't even write her own statements without stealing them from someone else and passing them off for her own. Um, so let's further get into her statement and then I'm going to play you um, the next audio to see how she is stealing information from other sources, putting it in her statement as if it was her statement from her own mind. And then you come out and we're yeah. battling yes. and, and, and you're paranoid and it's a state yeah. of, it's a state of anxiety. Yeah. You're constantly, you're constantly battling. Yeah. You got to be winning or you got to be killing or you're getting yeah. killed. It's what's At, going on. To be honest, have a lot of power there because you report directly to Francis who makes all the decisions. So mm -hmm. you can't write, you know, and I, you know, people will wonder why people like you and I would fuck this thing up, would 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 bite the hand that feeds us, would mess up the apple and peach cart. Like even me yeah. more than you, I wasn't getting demoted. I could have gone back any time for millions of dollars and I Okay guys, we're just gonna break this thing all the way down. Do you guys see an Erica statement? Am I biting the hand that feeds me? Perhaps, but maybe that hand deserves to be bitten. So we're gonna keep breaking this fraudulent Erica Mena down. Let me bring up the next audio. I just, I don't know. Again, mm -hmm. it's back to the reality reckoning, which we're now going to get into for me. And of course, I bit the hand that fed me. And now it's so convenient that I'm talking about this and all that. But I, I left. I left twice. Again, guys, that wording, am I biting the hand that feeds me? So let's continue to break this down. Oh, it is. That is a zero sum game. So I am for the first time in a really long time, like I am 100% right. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you think I bit the hand that fed me. I really don't care because I am right. It's the truth. It's the truth. You know, I hate when my kids are being, you know, people. Know and there you guys have it. So I have let you hear Bethany Frankel's podcast. Please feel free to go to Apple Podcasts and type in Bethany Frankel, and you can actually hear the entire um, two-part interview with Nene Leakes and Bethany Frankel. So what Erica Fake Mena has done, just like her fake makeup that she has on the screen that makes her look black, um, she went and took pieces of that particular podcast and created a statement or perhaps her publicist did it but i think she did it because why would her publicist take words from a podcast that everyone has possibly listened to listen to am i biting the hand that feed me how are how would erica mena be biting the hand that feed that 
that fed her when she was fired for her actions. That does not make sense. Um, then she states, um, to be successful in reality TV, you must kill or be killed. Girl, you were sitting at a table having a conversation. There was no reason for you to result to the level that you resulted in. Again, Erica Minna is fraudulent. She's a liar um, and she will not take accountability for her actions. She continually um, brings up a situation, but instead of taking full responsibility, she points the finger at everybody but her and her dark makeup that she's wearing to make herself look like a black person. So that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. And let me know what y'all think in the comments about this Erica Mena and continually bringing up this situation and just not owning it or taking responsibility at all. If you guys recall, she issued a statement, but to issue a statement and say you're sorry, but then to come back and constantly point fingers at other people, it just means that you're a liar and you never fully um, was sorry in the beginning.